problems, we are asked to evaluate expressions by substituting values for the variables. So let me uh, highlight these in different colors so we can note them. So I got a C going in in negative 3. C is supposed to be negative 3. And the variable L is being replaced with 2. So in the first expression on the far left, it looks like we have a negative C plus 3 times L. And C is being replaced with negative 3. And L is being replaced with the number 2. So now, what do we have? Looks like negative of negative 3. So the negative of negative 3 would be the number positive 3 plus 3 times 2, which is 6. And 3 plus 6 is 9. Next one over is C minus 5L. So in this one, we have a C minus a 5 times an L. We will replace C with the number negative 3. We'll replace L with the number 2. And therefore, it looks like we have a negative 3 minus a 5 times 2. And 5 times 2 is 10. So the final answer here seems to be negative 13. In the final example, we have negative 5C plus L. So again, let's write out our parentheses. Negative 5C plus L. C is being replaced with the number negative 3. L is being replaced with 2. So by order of operations, looks like we have negative 5 times negative 3 for 15 plus the number 2. And therefore, should, we should have 17. OK, if you'd love to want, try one on your own, why don't you pause the video, try to do this example. Okay, Assuming you've uh, given it a shot here, let's see if you got the same answers that I do. I'll highlight this in green and red, or box it in green and red. Our first expression is 5 multiplied by x plus y. x is being replaced with 2, and y is being replaced with negative 1. 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 plus negative 1 would be positive 9. Next up, we have negative 2y minus 3x, where y is being replaced with negative 1, and x is being replaced with 2. Hopefully you caught the fact that I reversed the variables that time, the x and the y. But now we're back to order of operations. Negative 2 times negative 1 would be positive 2. 3 times 2 is 6, and they're being separated by a minus sign. So 2 minus 6 is going to yield negative 4. For the final example, we have an x minus a y. x is the variable, or x is being replaced with the value of 2. y is being replaced with the value of negative 1. So it looks like we just have one operation to do, which is 2 minus a negative 1. And 2 subtracted by negative 1 yields the number 3. So that's the final answer to the final problem.